we're bringing you a special report on African Americans and swimming. Yeah, the facts make it pretty clear that blacks typically do not swim and therefore are more likely to drown. In this special report, we want to find out why and what's being done about it. It looks like an everyday trip to the pool. Commonplace. You ready? Unless you're African American. Okay. And the majority of African American kids have not had swim lessons. You gotta use your arms in order to swim. I gotcha. It's not a matter of opinion. The CDC says black children are three times more likely than whites to drown. USA Swimming reports that nearly 70% of black children can't swim. Sadly, the same is usually true for their parents. A lot of times the parents don't know how to swim. And that fear... Uh, it, it's like a cycle. It's obvious at the Kirk Family YMCA pool in Roanoke, where there's a movement Ready, to go. interrupt that cycle. <laughs> the swim instructors here at the Y know what to look for, and they tell me when kids come in from the suburban schools in Roanoke County, about 80% of the kids have some familiarity with water safety. But when it becomes the inner city kids, only about 20% have any idea what to do around the water and that's what they're trying to fix. I need Cameron, Joshua. Here at the Y, the goal is to teach every second grader at all 17 elementary schools in Roanoke to swim. Three city schools came last year, perhaps the ones that needed it the most. So Hurt Park, Lincoln Terrace, when you bring those groups in here, what do you see? Well, the, the, the three inner city schools that we've um, had in the fall, about 80% of those children, second graders in the inner city schools, did not know how to swim. The city has pledged to send even more schools next year. Have you ever jumped in the water over your head before? No. This was your first time? Yeah. What'd you think? Uh, it was fun. Okay, go! A good idea, because second grade seems the perfect time. The kids are big enough and not self-conscious. We're going to jump in. Yeah, it's going to help you float, right? And unlike Remember teenagers, they're willing to listen. What do you do? How you hold it? Like this? Yes, you hold it just like that. Very good. Close your mouth when you jump in. You don't drink water that way. That way, a child doesn't become a teen who can't swim, who becomes an adult who can't swim. Swim! Not a problem for these kids. The teacher said the children had to bathe in suits on Monday and Tuesday, and their program didn't even start on, it's on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. YMCA instructor Keith Gaines broke the cycle when his parents took him to the Y as a child in Philadelphia. I always remember the first time getting in the water, I said, this is me. I just, I just knew that this was me. There was no stopping him. He went on to swim for Howard University in the 70s. But when he looks around Roanoke, he sees few, if any, African-American men who swim like him. All right, turn around. Now he's on a mission to change that. He's not surprised that most inner city kids could not save themselves, even if they fell in right next to the wall. So those kids would have drowned. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But the Y program is getting those kids in the water and breaking down barriers for non-swimmers, black or white. So we identify those people and then we offer to their parents an opportunity to bring the kids back to ha have swimming lessons here at the Y at no charge. The reasons blacks don't swim can be traced back to slavery and segregation. But recent studies show today that economics and access are not the problem. The issue now, says Gaines, is changing the culture of realizing that learning to swim is a life or death proposition. African American parents are very much interested in their children and care very much deeply about them. It's just changing that culture because I've, I've coached the AAU basketball and we've got all the parents there. We've got all the parents there. So if we could just flip that script a little bit and say, hey, swimming is just as important for your child to learn how to play basketball, I think we can make a huge, huge steps in, in, in swimming in the bow. Gotcha. So there you go. And what's great is uh, how badly these kids want to learn and how the program is working. They just absolutely love this, this uh, swim safety program. And I've put some links to some other area wise and also a Roanoke based swim team that are also working to solve this problem. And uh, this is with uh, this story on WSLS.com. This man really is on a mission.
I mean, he's so passionate. You well, can tell. Well, he, he is, and the kids just love mm -hmm. him. They yeah. just they just love him, and and so the idea is to get more and more schools involved mm -hmm. with this program in Roanoke and some of the surrounding communities, and get the kids in there and break that cycle. Because, Absolutely. You know, a lot of times, uh, you know, the, the parents and other generations just haven't had the opportunity. Right. Now the opportunity is there. You got to convince them that this is a good idea. You know, that crossover dribble is great. Right. Like mm -hmm. like Keith said with the basketball, but swimming is life and death. Absolutely, so, and he knows exactly what he's talking about. He sure does. Mm -hmm. Great guy too.